Hey guys, long time no see. I know it's been forever and a day since I've made a video, but I came back with a how to bleach natural hair video, or at least what works for me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So what you would wanna do is grab a t-shirt that you don't really care for, wear that while you're bleaching your hair because it's super messy. And of course you don't wanna get a nice shirt messed up. You will also need L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach. That's one of my favorite bleaches and the Salon Care 30 volume developer. Um, and coconut oils. So I'm gonna be using coconut oil throughout my hair. It just helps to reduce the amount of damage you get from bleaching. And I'm gonna to try to stick to doing the middle of my hair. So my ends are already colored. I don't need to lighten them that much. So I'm just gonna try to avoid that area until the very end, that way I get a nice even bleach. So what you'll wanna do is part your hair, put the coconut oil um, throughout the hair, and then go ahead and bleach the areas that are needed. And you would wanna do the shaft down first and then go back to do your roots because your roots process the fastest. So you wanna do those last. And this is the first time that I've done it that way. I usually just do my whole head and don't really care if my roots are way lighter than the rest of my hair. But this time I tried to do it the professional way, I guess. And it turned out pretty good in my opinion. I, um, this is the most even color bleach job that I've ever done, so. I'm not a professional, I know it could be better, but I think for the amount of experience I have, this is actually pretty good. Um, yeah. So I'm applying the bleach everywhere except for the roots. I'm gonna go ahead and do the roots last, like I said before. So if you're thinking about dyeing your hair for the first time by yourself at home, I would highly suggest watching other videos about people with your same hair type that have dyed your their hair too. Um, I think that really helps out. That way you can find products that might work for you and what techniques might work for you. I like to bleach my hair when it's straight um, just because it's easier for me or at least in a blown out style um, just because it's just a personal preference. I think it just works out a little bit better for me. And please make sure you wear gloves. I cannot stress this enough. You can hurt yourself if you don't wear gloves so please make sure you're wearing gloves i am wearing gloves i have like a whole box of them for things like this so just make sure you're very well prepared and if you're doing your whole head i would highly suggest getting um, a bucket of bleach like i did because i used quite a bit of bleach just for my amount of hair and i don't even think i have that much hair so make sure you have enough bleach for what you're doing if you're just doing your bangs or something you only need like a packet or two they do sell them in individual packets You wanna make sure a couple weeks before as well that you deep condition your hair and apply coconut oil as often as you can. That way it kinda of helps to decrease the damage that's done to your hair while you're bleaching. It really helps, trust me with that. Um, it helps out a lot when it comes to making sure your hair stays healthy. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the bleaching process. Um, I also wanna add in that I tried to color correct my ends a little bit. They were kind of green. So I went in with a little bit of like a red dye and diluted it a lot with conditioner and put it on my ends. So that's why if you see in the next clip that I have kind of pinkish ends, it's because of my dye that I um, tried to fix my green with. So I've just washed out my hair. Um, I'm a little afraid of what I'm gonna see when I take off this um, towel, but we'll see what happens. I haven't bleached my hair in a very long time. My ends are already colored, so I tried to 
skip that part, but I still got a little bit of bleach on it, which is fine. Um, and then once you're done with the whole head like that, then go back and do the roots that because your roots process faster. So hopefully I did that right. Um, to wash it out, I used my creamy aloe shampoo from ORS olive oil because it is a neutralizing shampoo. So it helps to neutralize the chemical processes going on with the bleach what am I doing and whatnot so I have my hair dyed blue on my ends a long time ago but through several processes of um, fading it and um, going over it with a red dye to counteract the blue um, it turned into a very nice yellow like gold blonde um, but when I put bleach over it again it kind of went back green so my hair might be blonde and green so I'm just gonna See what happens so for my conditioner for right now I'm gonna be using the two-minute reconstructor from Afro G I didn't realize how little of this I had left otherwise I would have bought another bottle while I was at Sally's but I only have a little bit but that's fine I'm just gonna use this um, to kind of condition my hair a little bit give, give it some oomph give it some protein you know and then after that I'm gonna um, see where my hair is at um, because I don't know if I want to bleach again tomorrow or just dye it all today because I do have a lot of time today. I woke up super early for this. Um, super early meaning seven because that's early for me. And um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through this together. We'll see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what I'm gonna find when I unwrap this thing, but you know what? Go through it together. So far, not bad. My edges look Decent. Oh, Jesus. Lord help me. Okay. This is actually really good. Oh my God. This is really good, you guys. Okay, perfect. So right, my, right now my hair is a yellowy blonde it looks pretty even so i'm i'm really amazed honestly i've never gotten an even bleach job like this before usually i'm like super patchy but this is perfect for what i need it for that's awesome okay so this is what we're working with now um i have decided to give my hair a break and wait until tomorrow to finish the dyeing and bleaching process um, doing too much today would probably be too much for my hair. So um, right now I'm going to go in with my macadamia deep conditioner. You guys know this is, this is my all-time hands-down favorite conditioner for naturally curly hair. Even if it's not bleached, even if it's not dyed, I would highly recommend this stuff. It's amazing. It's like just really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead um, add in my deep conditioner to my hair, leave it on for like an hour, um, wash it out, blow dry it, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow.